My name is Amaranta Sandis. I am a teaching artist in Seattle. Hola, mi nombre es Amaranta Sandis. Yo soy una maestra de arte aquí en la ciudad de Seattle. Today's class is going to be about a sorting recycle. We're also going to be learning how to, you know, put together shapes and patterns. El día de hoy también vamos a, vamos a aprender cómo podemos poner figuras geométricas, uh, cómo repetir algunas formas, los colores, etc., etc. Entonces, lo que vamos a necesitar what we're going to need, you are going to need to get all of this different. This is all you need. You can have envelopes from the trash. You can cut some of the uh, crackers because I like to use the cardboard. Um, all these different lids uh, we're going to use and also uh, we're going to use uh, bread tags, eh, las etiquetas de pan, y también vamos a usar estas bottle caps. So, go ahead, start thinking about recycle. Vaya a colectar todas sus botellas, todo su reciclado, y nos acompañen en un momento. So, now we have all of our recycle sorted out, classified. Ya tenemos todo nuestro reciclado con diferentes colores clasificados. One thing you might want to have in mind is just to play with colors, textures, shapes, and sizes. So, una de las cosas para considerar el hacer uh, cualquier ejercicio es considerar el color, el tamaño, Formas geométricas y, y los patrones también. So, I want to start by forming a flower. It's a springtime and I really enjoy looking at flowers. So, here is one. And then I might want to add some, uh, you know, fun things around. And again, you could mix different materials. Ustedes pueden mezclar diferentes materiales. Pueden mezclar metal con... You can mix uh, metal with plastic. So here is one. Empezamos con el... We'll start with green on the side. Maybe we'll do... Different. Grande, mediano, pequeño, um, large, medium, small, and maybe we can do just a little pattern of three. Si no tienen cuatro, if you don't have four of a kind, you can just do simply three and maybe have this one in the middle. And maybe we can add a little stem in here. So we're forming shapes like this. And you don't have to glue this. It's really, it's really fun just to uh, go around and just do another form like this. So how about if we have big ones. Tenemos dos aquí y luego tenemos otra aquí en medio, otra más pequeña, and then we can use some of this. A lo mejor nada más dos o dos por aquí. And maybe we can use uh, other two colors on the side. Just go around. There's a lot of different places, a lot of different ways that you can play with that. You can stack. I like stacking. Que se vean como montañitas. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Another alternative that you have to get 
paper or to you know work with different uh, materials is to use the paper from the envelopes. Otra forma que ustedes pueden encontrar papel es en los sobres, puesto que los sobres nos llegan todos los días. One way I like to do it is just to um, use the inside of this texture. I really like this texture. Y I really, me gusta mucho esta textura. Uh, lo que podemos hacer es doblarla en tres. So we can fold it into three. By folding in three, uh, you get to cut once and then you have three shapes. So I already traced my shape. By the way, um, the lids are very helpful because we can just trace it. Entonces, el uso de las tapas para hacer círculos es, uh, es genial. Y bueno, nada más tenemos que cortar una vez and then we'll get our circles. So we have our circles right here. We can move this out of the way and we can do maybe the letter, you know, maybe we can do the letter T with that. Maybe we can do, you know, put the little um, lids on top of it. And maybe we can do la letra E. O maybe podemos hacer la letra O. O podemos hacer una flor también. Um, we can try to do this. Uh, podemos también usar las... We can use the uh, red tags to do this. And we can alternate this. And here we go. We have another flower. We can also overlap. Remember, we can overlap the uh, uh, or stack the different lids, and then you get you get a, maybe a third one. Podemos también encimar las tapas. Um, one thing I like to do is just to work with maybe two or three colors. Algo que me gusta hacer es trabajar con dos o tres colores. Um, in the use of three materials, it's it's very um, it's very easy to get. Making art with me. My name is Amarantha Sandis. Keep creating art at home with all the things that you find around. Take care and we'll see you soon. Adios.